Hi, I'm Jamie Farrell with Creative Cables. Today we're going to show you how you wire up one of our metal frame Dwayne lampshades. This is uh, a little trickier than some of the other projects that we have. It's uh, easily done, but it is just a little bit, a uh, few more steps involved in, in getting this to work correctly. So what we have here is we have our tape, we have our cable cutter, a small flathead screwdriver. This, uh, we're not going to completely wire everything up, so this is just to show you how to do it. It's got uh, our gray linen cable, a white metal frame weighty lampshade. This is our thermoplastic black socket. This is a uh, 1 8 IP tube. It's 40 millimeters long. This is a cylindrical plastic strain relief. And then we have a little lock washer and our wooden socket cup. So let's get started. First thing that we're gonna do, get our tape. We're going to go ahead and just cut and strip off a little section here so that we can wire this thermoplastic socket cup up eventually. So we'll just go, we'll put, loop around, bend, boom. We've got everything we need. So we've got this. The next thing we want to do is take the cylindrical strain relief and kind of slide and push, slide and push so it doesn't push all of the outer covering up. So you slide, push, slide, push, gently, gently, gently. And now we can just kind of hold and pull it down. So we've got that on here. And now all we're going to do is thread it through the hole that's in the lampshade. Boom. Next step, socket. So uh, socket cup, excuse me, cover. This is a wooden socket cup cover, so we just slide it over. Now we are going to have our lock washer. We just slide it in right here and over. Next, this is the, the most difficult part of the whole thing, is we have to thread this inside this tube. So this is gonna be something where you kind of slowly work it and be gentle. So you're gonna see that I'm just kind of holding and pushing, twist and push, twist and push, twist and push. You don't, again, wanna jam it on there, you're gonna have major problems. And as you can see, we had already taped that in, so it was holding a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull it a little bit further down, and here we go. Now we're going to put the top part of the thermoplastic socket on. So we've got that on there nice and tight. There's a little bit of a uh, locker inside of here, so you can't really see it, but it's a screw, and you screw it in and it locks that into place. And now we've got a ground wire connection here, and then there are going to be uh, two connections here and here. We're not actually gonna show you that today because just for brevity's sake, we've got a whole nother video that shows you exactly how to wire up those sockets. So we're just gonna push these down and pretend that we just wired these up. So we're gonna go here and here. So now we've got everything done there. Next thing we do is just pull this up. And I'm gonna hold the inside thermoplastic socket with my thumb while I screw here. So, just going around and around and around. So this long tube is going to thread all the way through here. And careful not to cross thread it. And this is gonna be, take a little bit of time because you have to actually flip this over as you go. So, we're just taking the time here to get this all screwed on. And it's gonna take us probably another minute or so to get it fully fully screwed in. At this point, we actually can just twist the cable here. This isn't the case always because you don't wanna be twisting inside the socket, but it's uh, tight enough here that by twisting the cable, we're actually twisting the tube. And now it's there, the tube's through and it's getting more tight. So I'm actually gonna to wanna to use my finger again Tighten that on down, so it's nice and tight. There's a little bit of the tube sticking up here, and all you're gonna do is pull this up and screw that into place there. Last step is just to get your screwdriver, turn the grub screw. Get that grub screw nice and tight, and there you go. You've got the metal Dwayne lampshade ready to go. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout. We're here to help you anytime, 901-359-5128. Uh, email any of us at info.us at creative 
creative-cables.com. And uh, be sure to check us out at creativecables.com. We've got all of your DIY lighting, your ready-to-make lighting, design your own lighting, let us put it together for you. We're here for you. Thanks again. Have a great day.